could describe your sex life as an animal, what would it be? Maybe like a monkey. Like I'm pretty <laughs> playful. Get a little handsy and... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Monkeys definitely like their bananas too, so... <laughs> My name's RJ, I live here in Scottsdale. Definitely not the, the tallest guy most girls have ever seen, so uh, maybe a girl a little bit on the shorter side. A big fan of the thong swimsuits. I'm not really looking for somebody wearing a grandma diaper out there on the beach getting a tan. My name's RJ, like to uh, booze it up on the weekends. In the summertime, obviously enjoying the pool, so interested to see what you guys look like from uh, a swimwear perspective. Taking a look here, it looks like I'm looking more at an NBA lineup from the shoes. I can only see the one on the left. Looks like she might be a good candidate for feetfinder.com. <laughs> Contestant number one, let's hear the uh, elevator pitch on yourself. <laughs> Hi, my name's Malu. Um, I'm actually from Hawaii, so I love the beach and bathing suits. Now that I'm here in Arizona, I love to go to the pool, especially with this hot weather. All right, well, I'd just like to say, I'm sorry about all the fires going on. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Contestant number two, elevator pitch. Hi, my name is Shauna. Um, I love to work out, shopping, taking pictures. I like to golf. Yeah, that's a little bit about me. Number three. Hi, my name is Lena. I like to work out and go to the beach. I'm from California, so I love the beaches. All right, contestant number four. Hi, I'm Katrina. I'm from Seattle. I definitely like living in Arizona definitely a lot better because of the pool parties and all the pool days and stuff that we have here. All right, and then uh, I guess last, feet finder. <laughs> Um, hi, I'm Haley. I grew up in gymnastics and cheer, so I live a pretty active lifestyle still, um, and I love to travel. Sounds like you're pretty flexible. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start at uh, number three. If you could describe your sex life as an animal, what would it be? Probably a lion. I think that I'm very like territorial and like think I'm very passionate when it comes to that. All right, so if someone's coming into your den, you're tearing them apart. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's go to number four. Um, mine would kind of be a cross between a cheetah and a giraffe. Obviously, we like tall. The cheetah aspect comes into play because like, I can be feisty at times, you know? Like, I'm not afraid to say what I want to say. Like, I don't care how much bigger you are than me. So it sounds like maybe some dirty talk involved, too. <laughs> um, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your best dirty talk line real quick. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> We'll move on. We'll go number one then. I would probably say something like a tiger, just bold and confident and protective. Back to the other side, number four. Maybe like a monkey. Like I'm pretty playful and like. Get a little handsy and. Yeah, monkeys yeah. Definitely... <laughs> monkeys definitely like their bananas too. So... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number five, feet finder. Probably a red panda, first of all, because they're really cute. Second of all, um, they're really affectionate and loving, but can also be really feisty and playful. And I okay. I mean, I think they're pretty funny. So they had to answer, what animal would you be? Probably a dolphin. You know, I think they're pretty majestic in the water, but sometimes I like to take control and maybe I just got that dolphin aspect in me. That's an interesting animal to pick. It's a little feminine. <laughs> Actually, I heard dolphins have the second largest penis of all mammals. I have the first. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Was it? <laughs> I think the contestant that I am going to eliminate is number four. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Sorry, the only reason I did that is that I felt like the first question just about yourself was a little bit short and I had to make an elimination somehow. That's okay. Honestly, <laughs> I was put on the spot, but it's okay. It's all right. I appreciate the effort. It's tough. I've been behind that curtain before, so. Yeah, 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 it's definitely a little. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Nice to meet you. Do you still feel good about your decision? I don't know. She's pretty hot. All pretty similar, it seems like. Short skirts <laughs> and a short pair of shorts, so. All right, contestant number one. If you had a yacht, what would you name it and why? I'd probably name it Pineapple Express because <laughs> I love the movie. I do like cannabis and it's also tropical. Got it. So you just be going from port to port smoking doobies, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Is it a deal breaker for you if somebody you're with does or does not smoke? No, okay. it's not. If it's not a deal breaker for you. <laughs> no. Contestant number two, name of your yacht and why? I'd call mine Salty Miss just because like salty, the ocean, you know, 
and miss. Like me, I'm a girl, salty miss. Okay, so sounds like you really think outside the box. Contestant number three. Name of a yacht. For me, I came up with Polaris, which is basically the North Star because I really enjoy stargazing and I just feel like it'd be really cool on a yacht like in the middle of the ocean without all the light pollution. Okay, I really, really like that because I like going up to Sedona to look at the stars. Also, bit of a fun fact, the, uh, the high school I went to, we were the North Stars. So Aww, maybe a little bit of connection there on, on some sort of uh, Fucking level, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, contestant number four. Um, I would name my yacht Maneater because <laughs> Nelly, Nelly Furtado's super hot and no man can resist a woman with a yacht. Damn, she is fucking hot and you got some hot looking legs, so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm gonna go with eliminating contestant number two. Just had uh, kind of the worst response when it came to a yacht name. Dang! <laughs> Ouch. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't take it offensively. Like, I had to eliminate somebody. That's the only thing that I could think of there. Okay. We're like the same height. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two brothers that are taller than me, pretty much all my friends that are tall. It's not something that I haven't heard before. I've, uh, I've overcome that objection many times before at the bar. Yeah, okay, um, seems like you guys all have some pretty nice bodies, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Contestant number three is giving me like yacht, beach club vibes, like rich kind of daddy's money type thing. Contestant number two, a little bit more like streetwear vibe, I would say. Um, maybe a little bit more LA. Contestant number one, pretty standard, like just Scottsdale look. Not saying that's a bad thing, cause, cause I like that. I mean, I, I moved to Scottsdale for a reason, but I, I like the belly button piercing. Oh, thank you. Contestant number one, if I was mad at you, what would you do to cheer me up? I feel like I never mess up, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Honestly, just communicate as much as possible and find out what I can do to do something different or learn from whatever I did. So it sounds like in a relationship, you're kind of always the can do no wrong type. It seems like that has happened in the past, yeah. <laughs> All right, so it sounds, it sounds like I might need to be doing my own cheering myself up. Um, I would probably get out of the house and get away from her and do something. <laughs> Contestant number three, let's jump to you. Bake you your favorite meal, maybe make some home-cooked baked treats if that's what you like. What, what's the uh, the best home-cooked meal in your repertoire? I can make a really, really freaking good French onion soup and brownie sheet cake. <laughs> I mean, holy sheet. <laughs> Contestant number two, let's, uh, I mean, I think the bar is set pretty low here. <laughs> um, I mean, I think it would depend on the context. I would say probably just communicate and like if I did something wrong, like I would take full responsibility for that and maybe some good makeup sex. <laughs> I didn't know if I could say that on the air. <laughs> oh yeah, well blowjobs make the world go round. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I thought you said the best way to someone's heart is through their penis, but. <laughs> Contestant number three, what is your ideal date on a beach where you're planning it and you're gonna sweep me off my feet? I love like getting a whole beach setup going with like an easy up, make it like a whole day. Bring a Bluetooth speaker, maybe like try somebody's skim board and fail miserably, I don't know. <laughs> Just make it a good day. All right, contestant number two, beach day that you would plan? I would say maybe like a sunrise or a sunset walk when the like sunset's really pretty by the beach. I really like beach picnics personally. I think they're really fun with like a good like, beachy music kind of thing going on. All right, I like, I like the picnic idea. What's a, what's a couple of your favorite foods that you would bring for the beach picnic? So I like charcuterie boards and then there's this really good sandwich shop that we would go to and we would just get that and like some lemonade and chill by the beach or drink a little bit. <laughs> that had a lot of structure behind it. I like that answer. Contestant number one, ideal beach date. A few bottles of champagne or some beer, I don't know, something fun like seltzers, some snacks packed, some floaties and speaker, have a really good time, drink. I mean, I, I, I like those answers. I think those are right up, right up the alley of something that I would plan myself. So uh, I'm gonna eliminate contestant number one. Hello. Hi. Nice oh, to meet you. That's probably a good idea. I'm yeah. you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I didn't you want too. to say, but I think it was pretty obvious as the yeah. curtain was starting to, to jump up there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Wrapping it up here, contestant number two. 
Why should I date you? What's so great about you? Sounds like we just have a similar outlook on life and I feel like we get along really well. Obviously, we don't know what each other looks like or anything, but that's not really the most important thing when it comes to dating, so. What is the most important thing when it comes to dating for you? Chemistry, for sure, 100%. Being open and exploring each other's wants and needs. I mean, I think it's a good answer. I think like chemistry is definitely like really high up there on the totem pole for me as well. So test number one, what is so great about you and why should I date you? I feel like I'm just very a very caring person and I'm also very like intuitive. So an observant with my friends, <laughs> if they like seem kind of off, like I'll be able to like see that and just like be able to like be there for that. All right, um, the last elimination I'm gonna make is contestant number two. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you, thank you for being a good sport. You yeah, had some great answers. Course. Contestant number one just had a little bit better responses, but not to say that you didn't have great responses too. All right, the winner is contestant number one. <laughs> Hi, it's Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Lena. RJ. Nice to meet yeah, you. No, I like your sunglasses. Yeah, thank you. I, I figured uh, I just got these uh, in Europe. It was kind of a beach vibe type thing. Yeah, so they're cute. I love trying to play with the theme here. Yeah, for sure. And what do you think about RJ? Um, I think he's a nice guy. Probably not oh, my type. I get that way too often. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's definitely a blow to the ego. <laughs> You're a nice guy. That's yeah, like... yeah, 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 yeah. That's what my mom says. <laughs> I got a big personality, I like to joke around, and you know, if I'm not somebody's type, um, I think that's a pretty standard response for you're a nice guy. If you like this blind date, check out this next one, you're gonna love it.